so welcome back to the wolf's den today we're gonna review a video uh let's have a look so what we have is a 206 platform so a bell 407 uh, by looking at the the door configuration in the windows just finishing a pax run uh, that's masculine papa alpha x-ray which stands for passenger and stores and whoever is videoing the happy people coming back so passengers disembark they all get out we've got the pilot front right seat yeah everybody's out cool and then look at the right of the screen gray shirt white shorts where is he going the pilot's counting people out by the looks of it and he realizes there's someone else and then a bit of a oh what's happening so how as crew not pilots pilots are busy pilots should not leave the aircraft while the uh, rotors are engaged uh, if they do really bad practice as crew we're responsible to the pilot for the safety of the aircraft hierarchy rescue the aircraft is number one the crew of the aircraft is number two number three is everybody else and number four is the patient the patient is not going anywhere callous as it may seem they're, they're not going anywhere so we're responsible in an order so how can we resolve this problem well one is we have a legal requirement under faa djac casa jarops isa whatever our reg regulations we have a mandatory legal requirement to brief passengers however if you fly commercial air on vacation do you listen to the cabin crew air stewardesses i bet you don't i bet you're like what's the movie yeah we need to pass on information legally uh seat belts emergency egress all this kind of thing but if we didn't have stupid people, we would be unemployed in the HEMS helicopter or ambulance rescue role. So we need to brief people. Now, this video was probably taken by a family member who very nearly recorded a fatality. So how can we resolve this? So at your airbase, we have a nominated ramp staff. A guy, fluorescent jacket, maybe one, maybe two, maybe three. They can escort these people out into a position of safety. If we don't, as crew members, we can do it. What can we do? Use the minimum amount of force necessary. Continuum of force. I'm going to grab that guy and push him in the direction he wants to go. If he doesn't like it, I don't care. He's still going to go in the same direction. Because why? If he now walks into that tail rotor, yes, callously, we've got a lot of cleaning to do got a lot of paperwork to do but then your aircraft is offline we can't save anybody because your aircraft needs to go under undergo vibration testing mechanical testing to make sure everything's still in balance due to one simple instant that can be a hundred and fifty percent avoided look after your aircraft stay safe